Al here again with another catalog photo shoot, and I have Dennis here. He brought a 58 Chevy Delray. Now, tell me a little bit about your, your car. Um, it's 58 Delray, which is the cheapest model they make, two-door post-sedan. Um, they came from the factory mostly with just a rubber mat, radio delete. They were just a workhorse car. Okay. But this particular car was... Uh, ordered really kind of for a toy. It was a 348 um, with a tri-power set up on it, stick, and it was basically going to be used as a toy, a hot rod yeah. on the road, a little street racing, a little lot drag racing, and that's basically what it spent its life doing. So, Now, in addition to the, the Delray, you have quite a few other cars. Yeah. What other... Uh, you have a 32 Ford that, that's your daily driver. Yep. And Th what else do you have? We have a 59 Corvette, which my wife has claimed as hers. So, <laughs> and a, a 55 Nomad that's in the works. Uh, we're, we started on that this year. Hopefully it'll be done next year, but no promises. A 37 Ford pickup. Okay. And I think that's it right now. For right now. For right now. For right now. And, yeah. and you've taken quite a few road trips. You've you're just coming back from Good Guys and Good Columbus. Guys Columbus, yeah. The second time you've been there with this car. With this car. Yep. And, and so what are what are some of the other trips that you've taken? Um for Good Guys was well, Indianapolis was mm -hmm. one a few years ago. That was in our 55 Nomad um, which was an adventurous uh, run. Yeah, you were telling me a, a little bit about that. Yeah. You went over a bump. Yeah, we're and going ruined an oil pan. Yeah, going down the highway, brand new paved highway, and the bridge they forgot to pave, and it had about a, I'd say a four inch to six inch drop off, and I have aluminum oil pan on it with a little square block for the oil drain, and that caught that oil pan and just ripped a hole in it and lost our oil that fast, but uh, didn't hurt anything in the motor or anything, and uh, we were very fortunate. We kind of grouped up. We always travel in four, five, six, ten of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went back to the next little town to see what we could find for parts. Went to a little Chevrolet dealership and uh, went to the parts department. And the guy says, I don't have that, but I do know someone that does have it. I'll be back in a couple minutes. He was back in 15 minutes and handed the oil pan to us. And uh, no charge. He says, you know. Happy to help you. And it's just amazing that community. Yeah. And, and that community that, that you have with, with your friends and yep. the car club that you're involved with back yep. home. Yep. What club is that? West Michigan Street Route Association. Great. Yep. And it, and it's not any like Chevy specific. No. It's, it's anybody with, with anything a that has rod. a hot rod, street rod, Very muscle cool. car. We've got them basically all covered in that club. So now you travel around quite a bit to to different car shows, and what what are some of the trends that you're seeing in different cars that are being done more recently? What are, what are some things that are catching your um, eye? The things we've been talking about lately is uh, the color changes. Uh, everybody seems to be going to the the pale whites, the off whites, okay. the cream colors, the grays, light greens. That seems to be the big trend, I think now. As far as the stances of cars, I think that's still pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty much different. the same. Everybody likes them down, and and the gasser cars are definitely coming on straight. You know, they're, they're so coming back too. Big, oh yeah, some big of time. Those are yep. real cool. Yep. Now you're working. On a, on, you have your projects, mm -hmm. you have your past ones. What, is there any one that has gotten away from you? One that you wish you kept and uh, wish you held on to? Uh, yep, a blue 55 Chevy Nomad. Okay. We ended up selling it at Good Guys a few years ago. Uh, went to Connecticut. Um, and directly after that, we had seller's remorse. So we were kind of looking online. online. We finally found one in. Uh, uh, North Carolina is actually where the car is from. Okay. So, and we bought it, and that was five years ago, matter of fact, about this time. Okay. And uh, I'm just getting started on that one. So, that's good. Yep. You're, you're getting that, that car back. Yep. So it'll, that it actually will be almost identical, same colors. and. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So, we can always look for you traveling around Western Michigan in either a 32 Ford. Yep. Or your your Delray, the, yep. or the Nomad. The Nomad, when it comes years. up, it'll be a, a medium, like a marina blue, if you know what color okay. it is, silver top. 
Very good. And you do a lot of the work yourself? I do most all of it except for engine interior. So Very cool. And with some help of some friends always. always that's that's so. the best way to yep. do it is, is yep. always have a friend that can, yep. you know, when you run into a yep. trouble spot. Yep. You yeah. try to do as much as you can do yourself Yeah. without messing it up. Well, I really appreciate you taking a few yep. minutes and, and speaking with me and yep. sharing a little bit about your passion and your, and your history with the cars. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you. Yep.